Greetings, Fortniters. This is Cheeky Seth. We're going to use Optimus Prime Battle Tested in this match. It's been a long time since you heard my voice, hasn't it? I'm on my son's account right now. I'm going to try and level him up further. Bam. There's the Leonardo DiCaprio emote. That's pretty cool. I think that's from the Wolf of Wall Street. There's the Hearing Impaired emote. We got that maybe a month or so ago. And we're going to do something special in this match. There are four mini temples, I like to call them, where you have two idols on either side of the temple, and you have to guess which one opens it up. The other one sends you flying in the air with a rift. If you play this duos, you could each go on either side of the temple. Count down from three. And one of you guys gets to go in and loot it, the other guy gets sent in the air. My son and I did that last night, it was pretty funny. Alright, what do we got here? I like to call this the temple tour, or the mini temple tour. We're headed to the first temple here. This is by the plane crash. It reminds me of the TV show Lost. How cool is it that the Transformers are in this season of Fortnite? I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying Wilds. It's been pretty awesome this season. I'm looking forward to the special Transformers pack coming in October. I'm going to get that for my son. That's going to have Megatron, Bumblebee, and a special Transformer just for Fortnite. It's a battle bus. There I am, prancing around in the mud. The mud's a really cool addition this season. I also like the wasps. That's a pretty cool addition. These flowers are pretty neat. And if you stick around long enough, they sprout back up. You could shield all the way up. Here comes the dino. I like these guys. They're good for mobility if you need to get around pretty quick. So this is a pretty cool landing spot. Sometimes I just go straight for the temple. There's a lot of chests and good stuff here. And there's one of the idols. We're going to take a chance. Ooh, we guessed right. The other one would have sent us rifting in the air. There's always one really nice chest in here. There's the Exploder. Personal favorite. I like to use the Exploder with the Cybertron cannon. You could soften them up with one or two shots from the Exploder. And then finish him off with a Cybertron cannon. Since I'm using Optimus Prime here, I was hoping to find a Cybertron cannon. And we're rifting here. We're going to the very next temple. Sometimes I come up short here. How'd you guys like that summer escape event? That was pretty cool. They always give away some sweet swag around summertime. I have about three years worth now. I first started playing at the very end of 2018, Chapter 1, Season 7. I, of course, didn't know anything about Fortnite at that time. It was the end of the year, end of the season. I think they were just about to take the planes out of the game. I'm just waking up here, so don't mind me. I like the addition of the augments. That's been pretty cool. I wish I had more time. I would narrate more of these videos. I wish I was a better player. I would just narrate them live. Of course, I would need a better audio setup. I get better microphone quality when I come in afterwards, like I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of narrating this one on the fly. I'm not going to read anything. Or maybe I will. Match is still young. There's a motorbike. So I was going for the ramp, but I missed. I hit the hour skulls there. I got him really pissed off. There's Naruto. Bam. I sent you back to the cutting room before I. He's still coming at me. I'm trying to escape. I like what they did with this location here. It's been a while since I saw a real waterfall. 
let to go up the Yosemite somehow. There's another Optimus Prime. Come on now. Got him. And the Oscars is still coming. We're gonna get rid of him. You, sir, are gone. Let's sneak behind here and try and heal back up. So, I'm on Fortnite Wiki right now, while we're chilling out here. Optimus Prime is a noble leader of the heroic Autobots. Optimus Prime is a legendary outfit in Fortnite Battle Royale that could be unlocked by reaching level 94, then having all other Battle Pass rewards claimed, and spending 9 Battle Stars in the Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass. Optimus Prime is part of the Transformer set. These boards are pretty cool. You could search chests for loot and then get gold on top of that. Or you could take out a bounty like I just did. Optimus Prime comes in two selectable styles. The original and battle tested, which I'm using in this match. And here's some stuff off the news tab. This was dropped on June 7th. Making memories with Mariposa, Relic, Optimus Prime, and Paradise Meow Skulls. And we're headed to the next temple. We're on the mini temple tour. My tour got interrupted. I'll have to show you the proper channel for hitting the four mini temples. And this one already got raided. That's unfortunate for me. There's the mini chug splashes. Is that what those are called? There's been so many additions, I forget what they're all called. And we're going to head over to that mini temple there. By Rumble Runes. What I like about these mini temples is the rift can get you to the very next one. Here's some more news while we're free flying here. June 7th, Wild starts June 9. This is from the beginning of the season, by the way. Explore the wilds with Mariposa, Relic, Optimus Prime, Paradise Meow Skulls. Chapter 4, Season 3, Wild starts June 9. This was dropped on June 9th, that's two days later. Wild Battle Pass. Suit up for an ancient adventure with the Timeless Era, Thrill Seeker Lorenzo, Autobot Leader Optimus Prime, and more in the Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass. Who's your favorite skin this season? Mine are Optimus Prime and Lorenzo. And Relic's pretty cool too. I like to lean on the male skins since I'm a dude. Era is pretty cool too though. If you guys can, leave in the comments who your favorite skins are this season. I'd love to know. And let me know if you want me to narrate videos in the future. I'm way overdue on a new locker video, especially since I have so many new skins. I might just do an overview. I'll start off with the skins. Maybe I'll do some of the other stuff like back blings and emotes. I might cut them up too. Just do one video on skins, another one on emotes, maybe another one on music packs. Let's take this dude out. Got him. How do you feel about the MK Alpha? It kind of pulls up on you, like the combat weapons. I think I prefer the original MK7. The Havoc Assault Rifle is my personal favorite. Especially if you can get it in the Mythic flavor. They have a whole bunch of Mythics this season. I played a game last night where I had a full loadout of Mythics. The Flapjack Rifle, not one of my favorites. I almost feel like it shoots flapjacks instead of bullets. 
You ever shoot someone with a flapjack and they're just not taking hits? Yeah, me too. Alright, let's read some more news on Optimus Prime here from Fortnite Wiki. June 9th, Optimus Prime, noble leader of the heroic Autobots. You've unlocked a new bonus reward page featuring the Optimus Prime battle-tested style. I still have to do that on my account. And here's an NPC, Focus. Focus and long shot are really handy in picking up because they will reveal your opponent's locations, including the boss at this location. There's a relic boss floating around here that throws wasps at you. I wonder if someone got him already. Nope, there he is right there. Or is that an opponent? Yeah, I think that was an opponent. Where'd they go? I lost him. At one of the towers near the citadel, you could also hire a long shot. That's one of my favorite things to do. And sometimes wild card spawns there. I found that interesting this season. There's vaults all over the map, but wild card only spawns at certain vaults during certain games. It's kind of random. Alright, I know there's an opponent floating around here somewhere. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Nope, I think I lost him. Alright, let's go back to Fortnite Wiki here. I think I will continue with this format of just reading off the internet while I'm playing the match. Bounty failed. Time expired. I love these shield flowers. You could also get health off them too. They're probably not called shield flowers. I have my own names for everything. Oh, looks like we found someone. Let's see if we could sneak up on them. Nope, oh, missed. Missed. Missed again. Looks like they're kind of sweaty. Come on, pumpkin boy. Got him. Check that out. They have Relic's weapon. The Mythic MK Alpha. I'll take that. He also drops the invisibility gauntlets. Pretty sure that's not what they're called. Maybe they're called transparency gauntlets. I can't remember. Those come in handy too at the end of the match when you want to evade your final opponent. I'm still hoping to pick up a Cybertron cannon so I could have a Cybertron cannon ending. No dice. What's up, focus? On June 9th, this was dropped. Battle-tested Optimus Prime. Send a message that will be remembered. You've unlocked a new Battle Pass page featuring the Optimus Prime outfit. That's old news. Here's some trivia. When doing the Barrage Cannon built-in emote with the default style equipped, an alternate design for his hand can be partially seen for a few seconds. That's interesting. I actually didn't know that. Optimus Prime is the first level 100 collaboration outfit of Chapter 4. Who do you think we're going to get next season? And they show you some promotional images in the gallery. We're on Fortnite Wiki, one of my favorite websites. Oh, and there's some lore too. Let's see what that's all about. I wonder if they're going to stick a Transformers boss in this season. Like... Megatron, or Optimus Prime. They'll probably stick Optimus Prime in and save Megatron for the next season. I have a feeling we're going to see Transformers in the future also. Alright, here's some lore. The answers you seek lie deep within the starless void that brought you here. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots from the reality of the Transformers. He can be heard speaking of the impending doom in radio station 
mysterious transmission in vehicles. There's also transmissions at certain temples right now. Be sure to check those out. And temple sites, not actually in the temples themselves. We'll have to do a temple tour at some point. There's like four temples you can go in and loot with puzzles and whatnot. There's a vehicle right there. There's a cash in. I can get some legendary chugs out of it. Alright, back to Fortnite Wiki. Chapter 4, Season 3. We're a little bit late in the season for this. However, this is the very first video I'm narrating this season, so here we go. A small Optimus Prime was projected onto the island by a group of explorer exploring rumble runes in the cinematic trailer. Optimus Prime proceeded to hack vehicles radio stations and warns everyone of the impending dooms. Later, Dr. Sloan contacts him and shares her plans. Optimus Prime is seemingly confident in her plan and sends transmissions to radio stations that everyone should help her. I'm sorry, there's so many typos in this. I had to do some minor corrections. Optimus Prime was contacted by the Looper in Rumble Runes using a zero point crystal. He warns them that there is grave danger on the horizon. The zero point is in a weakened state and they have to seek answers from the starless void that brought them to the island. Here's some more trivia. The starless void could mean the zero point without powers, dormant zero point, the shapeless man who is described to be darkness that swallowed the stars, the nothing. Some very bizarre trivia. It's an enigma wrapped around by a mystery, encased in a puzzle. And it looks like my dude is shooting at the wasps. Alright, we're gonna get our heads back in the game here. I think I will trade shotguns here. The drum shotgun is an old school favorite of mine. Alright, there's only seven players left in the game here. Part of me wants to retain this vehicle, but I think I'm going to move on without it. We got the invisibility gauntlets. These are coming in handy right about now. I love those bounce pads. Those things rock. What are those bounce flowers? You can move around the map and see. Virtually undetectable. Of course it wore off. I like using the glider with the invisibility gauntlets. All you see is the glider. It's kind of funny. Alright, there's six players left now. Where's everybody at? So we have a new Fortnite crew skin coming in a couple weeks. I wonder what it's going to be. I think they gave some foreshadowing on it. I really like sticks. I thought that was a cool skin. How are you guys liking the Fortnite crew skins? Any favorites? I'm looking forward to unlocking the wall. This house will make a great hiding place. There's only four players left. I could build a little fort in here. The game's called Fortnite, right? So if I do make a locker video, would that be cool if I just showed you the skins first? There's so many, it's probably like a 20 minute video. Alright, while we're hiding out here, we are on Fortnite's Twitter page. The official Twitter account for Fortnite, Battle Royale, Creative, and Save the World. For status updates and service issues, check out Fortnite status. I'm just reading off the internet. Oh wow, there's only one player left. Alright, let's figure out where he's at. There he is. 
This is the benefit to hiring focus or long shot. Let's see if I can get him. Yeah, be careful when shooting the exploder. You might shoot yourself. The Cybertron cannon can also shoot yourself as well. I've self-eliminated by being too low on the ramp with the Cybertron cannon. Alright, we're going to do some building here. Let's see if we can get up above him. Now I've lost him. Come on, focus. Help me out here. Where's my opponent at? Do they still have that augment that shows you where your opponents are? That's a handy tool. Oh, looks like they rifted out of here. I kind of cheated here. My son was watching me play this and he pointed out where my final opponent was. There he is. Otherwise, I might not have seen him. See some long shots on him. Pun intended. I think we're a little bit too far away. Yeah, I'm missing all those. Let's get a little bit closer. I still got my NPC on board. They don't really help too much in battles, do they? That's alright. I only hired him to see where my opponent was. Victory Royale for Optimus Prime Battle Tested. Or Battle Tested Optimus Prime. You could do it either way. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. If you want to hear more of my voice, just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to support a creator. J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F That spells Jiggy Seth. That means to go spastic. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a great fortnight.